Yep. Yep. What's up, people? I'm still chilling in the 80s, making myself feel good about society and life. I like to listen to the 80s music because it reminds me of a time where I didn't give a shit about anything. All we cared about as kids, if you're the same age as I am, the biggest fear in life was taking a test. Think about that now. All the responsibilities as young adults as we are. Kids, houses, mortgage, bills, and all that stuff. If only taking a test was the biggest thing we had to worry about now, it'd be fantastic. But you know what reminds me of uh, when we were kids, I don't know, I'm 37, so when I was growing up in the, in the heyday of sexual discovery and excitement, every girl that I was with, we were wearing huge clothing back then. Massive champion sweatshirts, disgusting parachute pants. Girls would be wearing 400 different layers of stuff, massive socks. So by the time you got through it all, you were too tired to do anything else. Now, society apparently has gone off the deep end. And I, I feel like an old man talking about the kids today. But again, I saw one of these shows, 20, 20, 60 minutes, whatever it was, about all the things that the kids are doing today. Now, I love the drugs. I've always liked smoking weed. I've experimented with pretty much everything across the board. But one thing I wouldn't do is what they're doing today. Now... I guess this is just a proof of the stupidity of today's youth. Here's a good idea. Let's go to the, the, the parents' medicine cabinet, put all the pills in a bowl, not knowing what they are, what they do, and we'll just keep popping them throughout the night until we pass out. Now that, my friends, could possibly be the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. I'd rather shoot heroin into my eyeball then take a bunch of pills that don't know what they are and how they're going to interact with each other while sitting around in my family's house when my parents are out, out of town just in case I got to get my stomach pumped. Yeah, that's brilliant stuff. Another indictment on the direction of America, where we're headed. In the sewer! We're headed in the sewer! But one thing I got to credit for these kids today, they're having something called blowjob parties. Again. What the hell? Maybe I was born in the wrong generation, but we were so kind of like embarrassed still around my, I don't know. We, we, we were having a good time, but it was seven minutes in the closet, little spin the bottle, blowjob parties. If, let, me, let, me, let me tell you what it's all about. The girls wear different kind of lipsticks and they go with another fella and then the fella comes out and whoever's got the more colors of the rainbow around his junk he wins. Now, where were these parties when I was growing up? Wow, I had to beg and plead just to get a little finger on my junk. But let's talk about the stock market for a second. The job numbers, oh, they're good, they're bad, they're bad, they're worse, they're worse than expected. Here's the thing, I'm starting to get pissed off again, so I'll, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna be back sooner than you think. Yeah. Cause it's enough with the gap ups and the only market that's been tradable is the first half hour, and that's basically a crapshoot. Like dry ships yesterday. Opens up down 50 cents. Next thing you know, yeah, the thing's rocketing up a point, goes positive. Next thing you know, and then today it's gapping up. Where are we now? So basically, the stock has got, and it's like a four point range every other day. So the idea behind a stock that's doing that kind of stuff, especially in your options expiration where you can get some cheaper options, you might want to play a straddle on that stock. You could even go two points above and two points below where the stock is because generally you're gonna, you're gonna hit one of those targets. Now what I was doing is I was looking to buy the $15 calls and the $12.5 puts. So for a moment there, it would have been all right because here you could trade out of the position and make money on both sides if you're that lucky and good. But every day, everything I want to buy is always gapped up, and I have to wait to see if it fades, and if it doesn't fade, I just ignore it. And the ones that I want to sell out of gap down, so then I'm stuck in those. So it's, it's like, it's just starting to become exactly what it was, same as ever, ever it was, and all that nonsense. But let me ask you a question. We're still, on the same page, right, that 
we're not going to recover in any significant way in 2009. That there's more shoes that have to drop, blah, blah, blah. Another couple of scams that'll have to come to light. But one thing that is positive, people are looking to refinance. Guys, I'm talking about it. Their phones are off, running, ringing off their hooks. People who actually have decent credit ratings and some money are looking to buy houses. So things are getting a little bit more stimulated, if you will. And you can't fight the stock market. As much as we think, and the bears think what's going to go down, because I don't even know whether I'm a bear or a bull. I don't even care anymore. As much as we think the market's going to go down, when it starts going up in the face of all the bad news and all the skepticism, you just have to get in. You have to be insane and just jump in and just see what happens. That's the only way to make money. But, uh... We're talking, I'm talking about, let me see, the four stocks I've been trading lately is the DRYS, the Chesapeake, the Morgan Stanley, and the HIG, Hartford Financial. The reason being is because all these stocks are at prices where if they do continue to break upwards, there's going to be a significant breakout and the stock's going to take off. Like this dry ships. Hey, you know what? HIG could pull back four points today, but at the same time, it could break out. Next thing you know, the stock's sitting at $25. Take a look at it. And the HIG, again, the stock can either fall apart, go back down to where? 12 and a half, but if it gains any more momentum and breaks into the 20s, the stock's got 10 more points in it, easy. Morgan Stanley as well, and the Chesapeake Energy as well. So I'm looking at stocks that are right on their cusp, but right now they're just chopping back and forth, and I just, I can't watch it. The watching is the hardest part, the sitting here deciding what to do, because tick by tick, you're never right, okay? If you're trying to make four cents, you could be right. I could do that all day. I could get into 2,000 shares of a stock, have it go up six cents, take my 120 bucks. What does that gain me? Because chances are that same stock I just took $120 profit on, it'll pull back eight cents, and next thing you know, it's up a dollar. And I don't know. I'm trapped in a vortex right now of deciding what to do. I don't know what to do. I just want to just do what I'm doing now is... Getting into the stocks when they pull back for 300, 400 shares and waiting two days and having them go back up to one or two points and making the money that way. But sitting in front of the computer is a killer. But I'm going to start doing it again on a regular basis, make these things regular. <laughs> just, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like i got better things to do with my life right now than to just sit here and wallow in misery on stocks that I've missed and watch them go back and forth. And then everything changes in a half an hour. It's so disturbing. But, uh, I don't know. And I just haven't slept right in, in a good six, seven months. I'm dying. And I, it's like, what can I do? I'm going to just knock my kids out. Well, actually, it's just my, it's the big guy right now. It's like a habit of his to come into the room. Every day, 4.30 in the morning, he's got to come into the room. There's nothing I can do anymore. All right, I'm going to go drink some more coffee and decide what I'm going to do with this dry ships. Today, considering it's gapping up, it'll probably spike 50 cents and roll back over and go down three. All right, see ya.